bad, not bad for a first go. We're going to go one more time, one more time, because that's not bad anymore. Bit louder, bit more boisterous, bit more masculine, bit more funky. All right. So on the count of three, one, two, three. in the toilet. <laughs> it was a while before I noticed it, but we are trying it out all right. So <laughs> I'm going to ask Hannah to throw those cards high in the air above my head. That's above, not at. Right. So above my head, the cards are then going to scatter like mystical confetti around my bean. I will spin around and catch the card that was not with my fingers, because that would be boring. Not with teeth or toes, that's not dangerous. I'm going to catch the card, Hannah, on. Oh. Bam, bam, bam! The So here's what's going to happen. Hannah's going to throw the cards. I'm going to spin round and I'm going to stab the card. Well, you know what happened is what happened to me a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> you won't believe what happened to me a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> Do you want to know what happened to me a couple of weeks ago? <laughs> Hannah, I'm on stage, right? And the person throws the cards. I turn to stab and I slipped on this bit of banana. I have no idea where it came from. And as I turn to stab, I slipped and I went, Oh my lord! So we don't want that to happen again, because it's going to be <laughs> Now, apologies to anyone not wearing tenor lady tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so all through the show I've been wearing a completely fake lower arm and I've just squirted myself with tomato ketchup. To prove it is tomato ketchup, Hannah is now going to lick my arm clean. <laughs> not really, it's fake blood. I'll get the cloth. Cabaret connoisseurs, please note the cloth is red, what means I don't have to wash it after every show. <laughs> Up there for thinking, down there for dancing, I tell you. Right. Are you ready, Hannah? Yeah. Throw the cards in the air! On the count of three! <laughs> Completely my fault. I chose Hannah. Yeah. Don't worry about it, sweet talk. Don't you worry. I got it. I got it. Here we are. The three of hearts. No. Didn't say that was Hannah's card. I'm trying to redeem myself. I just said the three of hearts. Do you remember what it was? Audience, do you remember what it was? Yeah. Luckily enough, I've got an insurance policy. I'm going to get it out. Don't quit now. Don't quit now. I can smell the buffet. It's making me hungry. <laughs> On this banner is printed the name of one card. On the count of three, I will drop the banner. Hannah, you shout out the name of your card, vociferously naming your card, shouting it out loud. Audience, just in case Hannah's trying to fool me, also shout out the name of the card. On the count of three, all together now. One, two, three. The Four of Spades, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. The Four. Oh, sorry, can't see again. One, two, three, and the Four of Spades. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's how it works, Liam. That's how it works. You see, I draw people using language to give me the answer I require. And if you've ever been into a car showrooms or a, a jeweler's and bought a more expensive watch or a more expensive car, that's how they've done it. They use the yes question, but they do draw you with the questions to get the answer that they require. Now we know you're easily led, isn't it? Can we do the well, they did it with this giant piece of paper mark and they tried to fold it up. And I'm looking around the house, I found a banknote and decided I'd try it. When I'm following up, you probably know, being a man of wealth, Mark, the paper money is not made of paper, it's made of cloth, linen, and some countries plastic. Which means when you fold it and you unfold it, the ink completely removes itself from the world. I always wish I'd learned the second half. Have a lovely afternoon, guys. Enjoy it. Alright, I'll change it back.